in many ways the exploration that we do underground is similar to uh, to the endeavor that uh, humans in the future will have to take in other planets that we have not explored yet. When you fly in space, it can be incredibly dangerous. And to do it and manage risk, it takes an incredible amount of work, effort, and skill. Here at Caves, they have tied together the logistics, the training, the actual mission, and the team camaraderie that's needed to pull off such an extreme mission. are astronauts and cosmonauts and uh, specialists uh, of different countries. We live in different cultures and uh, we have uh, different habits, different knowledges, uh, we speak different languages. But anyway, we need uh, to work together. Unknown territory, let's go! They will have to learn to navigate through unmapped regions with very hard terrain. They will have to learn to observe very carefully uh, the environment around them so that they can catch any signs of, uh, of life. They will have to perform science, they will have to perform uh, navigation. They will all have to be uh, very uh, good at each other's jobs so that they can uh, take over. You and Sergei will go to White Sands. Day by day everything became more difficult and more challenging. And before coming here, I thought, wow, will we all, will we need all these skills that we have just learned? Indeed, we needed all these, because this huge cave here um, contains all of these elements. It contains lots of pools, lots of shafts, lots of difficult passages that we have to go through, very tight squeezes that we had to uh, squeeze ourselves through. When you're talking about climbing up mountains and coming down mountains and using ropes and crawling through the tiniest squeezes that you never ever thought your body could uh, squeeze through, it really challenges your physical ability, it challenges your mental ability to overcome your physical weaknesses and your mental challenges, and it also over, uh, challenges the team to come together to help each other through such a, such a challenge. One of the most important things here is uh, uh, energy of your batteries, almost like uh, oxygen for your breathing in space. execute the mission, which is to achieve the science that we need to go forward. And uh, because it's a bit annoying, I will switch it off. I like this ex experience which I get here. It's a real uh, team building, a real leadership uh, training. It's very, very helpful, not only in space program. We're now at the end of day five in this cave and um, we have conquered and uh, survived all the challenges here in this cave. We're back in our base camp. Tomorrow will be the last day, but that is just for exit. The CAVES mission has it all. The CAVES team has it all. It's a, uh, a very good analog to human spaceflight, especially when we start exploring distant places.
right now we are in a witch hat and we're supposed to be uh, at entrance of the cave in uh, 30 minutes. The one thing that I've found uh, through this experience is that just like in, in space flight, in order for five people to, to, have an, to have one week of experience underground, there is an incredible amount of people around us taking care of us, planning for us, for giving us support and uh, making movie, documenting all we do. These people are always invisible and just like the beauty of these caves is invisible uh, to the naked eye in the darkness, uh, but it is nonetheless beautiful. The beauty of these people and what they do uh, is very much appreciated by all of us. So uh, this is my chance to, to thank all of those who took part into this program and giving us support, making and the, the organization work so well and giving me a chance to uh, find a part of myself that I didn't know existed as well as a part of the world that I didn't know was there. Thank you.